finally not gross out. Spring, or is it summer, or is it spring? Nice weather is finally on its way. Don't drop the donuts. I want to breathe it out. Got to, got to. Breathe it out. We'll move it back. What if I drop it? Don't drop that. Wow, that is heavy. Shouldn't this be reversed? Yeah. So I'm um, here. We have kit-specific component list. Very important to the installation process. Right here, we have. Yeah, this is this. Keep that in the box. Oh. <laughs> it helps us look at what we're doing. This is our management system, Sabrina. Wow, I knew it. Oh. That is nice. That's sick as fuck. This is what we are gonna try and accomplish today. That looks very intimidating, and the last time we did this, we did this on Calvin's BRZ. That took us about two days to do it, and it wasn't that hard once we kind of understood what we were doing, but now it's time to tackle this on the GTR. Huge thanks to Airlift. Airlift actually sent this kit out when I got the cars as like a congratulations gift. So thank you so much to Airlift. I am honored to be running your kit, and thank you for sending out this. This is actually, we'll show us later in the video, but this, this system that they sent, is amazing and works very, very well and I'm very excited to use it. And actually, Andrew from Driven to Cure runs the same setup. After doing Calvin's bags way back when, we think it's best to install the tank and the air compressor first, figure out the hoses and the wiring, and then at that point, move forward with installing all the bags. That's the easy part. That's the part that we know how to do. The part that we're innovating and figuring out by ourselves is mounting the tank and the air compressor. Normally people like go and they'll spend like thousands of dollars and have people custom make like floorboards in the back of their trunk and have them do it all for them. That's not what we're about. We're all about doing it ourselves. We started with stripping this whole entire trunk and we're looking for ways to mount the tank upside down. Like I said, we're just figuring out as we go and we'll show you. We're probably gonna have to go to Home Depot and buy some stuff and make our own custom brackets, which is fine, but it is gonna take a lot of work. Um, so that's pretty centered, yeah. Any fucking holes, dude. Quickly realizing that our plan of mounting the tank upside down is completely not possible. Well, maybe it is possible, but we're not dedicated enough to figure it out. What we are gonna do, like you just saw in the clip before this, is we're gonna use a piece of plywood that we previously had. And I guess we're all gonna mount it on the ground. So, the idea is to cut out a piece of wood to kind of fit snug in this area to then mount the tank on and be able to fit the compressor in the back. We've never made anything custom like this before, but we think we can figure it out. Don't make, don't hype us up that we don't know stuff, that we don't know stuff. We've never done this before. I mean, it, it, we made a... You may be asking yourself. A table. Wow. They know how to install bags on our GTR? No. No! Don't take our advice. No, we don't. We have no idea how. We've done it before on Calvin's car. This is a whole nother level of, of not knowing things. Pro tip. What does it teach? Use cardboard first. We put cardboard in and we're measuring out what we want to do for the actual wood, but with cardboard so that we can actually like make a more precise cut and a more precise piece of wood. It's a good idea, Cal. You might want to add like half an inch. You want to add half when you're cutting the wood. Template of cardboard that's easier to maneuver than wood. Good luck, have fun. Please fit. Navigate me, buddy. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. We have to turn around. Why? 
I didn't torque my wheels down. Oh my god. Making it quick, Yui. Calvin didn't torque his wheels down when the last time we worked on the car. <laughs> Boy, you're lucky. That could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. 19, that is 19. Nice car! <laughs> we got the thumbs up from the mom driving the newer Miata. Nice. That's an NV here. Here's pretty much how I have the layout set up. So I have the tank fit, have the compressor, and deep in the back I have the manifold. I'm pretty confident that's how I want it to fit and that's the way it should work. So I'm gonna take everything back out, drill all the holes, and then mount everything. And then at that point, we're gonna strip the whole entire car and set up the wiring, or begin to set up the wiring. It's not Benedict, your uncle. It's Bob's, your uncle. Calvin! Calvin, got some news for you, bud. Bob's your uncle, not Benedict's your uncle. Benedict's your uncle. It's a thing. It's Bob's your it's uncle. It's Benedict's your uncle. Everyone commented Bob. <laughs> no, Benedict. I'm 100% sure it's Benedict. <laughs> Whoops. That's not supposed to happen. Come on, man. Hey, sometimes shit happens, Calf. That's just a good hole. That is a hole that I would just do again. <laughs> now that I have the tank mounted, I know I want my compressor to be, I already lined it up right there. I'm gonna put my fitting hose right here. So what I'm gonna do next is mark my holes. Here's the hardware for the compressor and I have the appropriate sized bit and it's time to start drilling and do the same thing again that I just did to the tank. All right, you ready to help? Yeah. So what we have to do now is pretty much take apart the whole entire interior Easy. of the car. Easy? Piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Airlift actually has probably one of the best manuals that I've that ever seen for an install. It's a full Look book, detailed pictures, and it's in color, which like goes a long way. What do you want? Your Uncle Bob. This is my replacement teach? Yeah, you've been... Sorry. You've been hashtag replaced. By both of us. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Emily, Emily and Sabrina are gonna help me. So you could just have fun Hi. doing Go your, your Miata stuff over there. All right, ladies. Unclip the rear seat bases and remove the bases from the Did you get it? Gotta make yeah. sure you're pushing behind it so it doesn't slip. I'm just oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Nice. Give it a good push, Emily. <laughs> I can't. I'm like getting it like I'm here, like, but then. All right, Sabrina. You gotta push straight up from the bottom. Don't I need to like? There it is. Nice. nice. I was looking for a high five there, not. There you go. I just finished taking out the whole entire rear portion of the car. Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's nice to know that when you pay this much for a car, some things aren't as hard as others. For example, a lot of the clips are so much more thought out than like the BRZ 350, the Miata, the Speed 3. Like it, it just, it's much, much easier, which is awesome. So thank you Nissan for that. But all of this is completely out. Before I actually start putting in the actual bags and all that stuff, I have to figure out where all the hoses are gonna go and all the electric stuff are gonna go. That is not my specialty. So I'm probably gonna have Calvin help map that with me. A lot of the grunt work is done. That was pretty much the tedious part and then as far as putting in the actual back systems on the front and rear, that should be pretty easy. Like, I think that's definitely for tomorrow, but that should be extremely easy to do compared to everything else. Also, my two helpers just disappeared on me, and I hear the movie room blaring music right now, and I smell popcorn, so I wonder where they are. You guys ditched us. <laughs> You told us no, we don't need your help. Yeah. So, fuck you. Hey! Okay. 
know how this. Now we keep. Yo, hey. So I just remembered something that I wanted to say at the beginning of this video, but I totally spaced on it, and I think it is important for me to say this now. I want you guys to comment this to anybody who says anything about this, and this link this time in the video, just to shut them up so no one bitches, complains, or whatever. So I know the top comment's gonna be like, ugh, why would you bag a GTR? Just ruin the car. This is a track car. Why would you put bags on a track car? Why would you not stick to coils? Why would you do this? Why would you do that? Oh my god, oh my god. Well. Here's my answer for this. Everybody always says how much bags are shit. Everyone always says how coils are better. Airlift has come a long way with the bags and just the whole bag scene in general has come a long way from what everyone thinks they are to what they are now. Now coils have always been the thing to go to. So everyone, know, even if they don't, don't know anything about cars or even if they have no track experience, will always say coils are better than bags because that's what majority says. But majority doesn't really know or even have personal experience. So here's my thought process behind this. Airlift sent these bags out as a congratulations gift. So awesome, thanks. I am gonna put them on and I'm gonna get my own opinion and see what this fuss is all for itself. I wanna see what it's personally like to run bags on a track. And if it really is that much worse, or if that's what's holding me back from setting the new top record or whatever, then sure, I'll go back to coils. But instead of just assuming what everybody says, I'm gonna figure it out for myself and develop my own opinion about it because they are said to be almost better in some, in some cases. And let's be honest, I drive this more on a daily basis than I do with the track. And if having bags is gonna allow me to ride just as good as coils, but then when there's a low part, allow me to raise over a speed bump and the GTR, trust me, I'd rather do that than ride coils to be track day bro 100% of the time. It just makes sense. It's not gonna kill the car. So when top comment is, oh my God, TJ, you're bagging the car, just fucking link this part of the video to top comment and tell them to shut the fuck up because that's why. Thank you. So I think this is where I'm gonna end today's video. Now before we do this, I said in yesterday's video that top comment would be able, would get to choose the name of the board. And for those of you who think I don't read the comments, I read the comments a lot. So you guys are always talking in there. I usually come down and say what's up in the comments. Okay. Keep moving forward board. The the man dingo dart board. But this one has more. The board of blind, the B.O.B. Am I the only one who doesn't like how B.O.B. looks anymore? Yes. You know what? I'm gonna let it actually, the video's only been live for three hours. I'm gonna let most of you guys see the video before I choose it. So I think tomorrow we'll choose what it's called because only probably about half of you have seen the video at this point. I don't wanna jump the gun too early. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. We got a lot done today. This should be bagged soon really soon um i think tomorrow we're just gonna start installing all like the coils or bags the struts whatever and then start lining the hoses so we could potentially finish tomorrow if we could start it early enough thank you for watching another daily vlog i will see you tomorrow peace out and keep moving forward I'm feeling I do it for the video. No. Alright, Calvin. No. Imagine I'm Emily. No. Hi. Hey, babe. Hey, Calvin. Hey. Good. Oh, God. I was kidding, man. I was kidding. There is no sippy action going on in this car. Yep. That's definitely not coming off with anything we have here. Now the daily for the next couple days until the, until the GTR is done, I will be having I Love Dick Bix on the back of my car. Thanks, Premium. Thank you.